Hi, William. Well, boy, what's happening? How, How are, are you? you? I'm all right. Yourself? <laughs> I'm good. Uh, thanks, William, for coming on. You're good. You're good. Um, so I think why I wanted you to come on was because I went to college with you. That's where I first met you. Yeah, yeah. And you were always just like going around the place and you're just like, Wild. so he's gone, he's gone. But you were always in the library. So you were always, kid. no, but you were always in the library. You were mm. always on the computers. You were always like, you were always educating yourself. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> what? Bro, you're going to start making me sound like I'm some sort of a geek. No, but listen, no. But what I'm saying is like, you literally were so into it, like, and you were so passionate about what you did. Mm. Um, And then we did like a little event together. Do you remember? And yep, you did yep. all the Odin. sound and. The Green Hills Hotel. The Green Hills, yeah. Yeah, 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 um, yeah so yeah so that's that's where i met you and i knew you were into like rapping at mm-hmm. that time mm-hmm. so what's your uh when i met me i, I wasn't really <laughs> into rapping but like i, I was doing all right um no i still rap today I, yeah I, I, yeah i still like rapping and uh performing going mad and still the wild thing that that yeah. you once knew yeah is yeah. Uh, pretty good and so will z then what's that uh is my rap name is my yeah what did, you, what did you call it? Will my alter ego, is Your it? Your alter ego, yeah. Yeah, well, then it'd be my alter ego. It's like, um, it's like just who I, my performance name. It's just my stage name. Like, okay. you got Willem, the fella that likes to sit at home with his family, and then you got that fella who just goes mad. So, you got that. You okay. Got, you got a good mix. That's cool. And so, just your Will Z page, that's on your Instagram, and you have a YouTube as well. Will yeah? Z TO on Instagram, Will Z on YouTube, Will Z something on Facebook, okay. Will Z everything basically. Like. So, if people wanted to get your raps and stuff, where they get them? Uh, YouTube for now, okay. and that's then, uh, oh yeah, and Spotify and all them other places. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, can we get into the deep stuff now? Let's go, let's go. That's why I'm, I'm sitting here like half smirking, oh. like wondering what are you saying? What's, what am I doing here? So, mm. William. Yes. I suppose we had a pre-interview and in that pre-interview, I always knew that you come from two different backgrounds as per se. Mm-hmm. You were formed and you called yourself a, a tra buffer, which yeah. I loved. And can we Thank please you. explain straight away why you called yourself a tra buffer? Uh, well, I call myself a travel buffer is because I came from a travelling background, the travelling mm-hmm. community, and my mother and father are full-blooded travellers, and we were put into foster care when we were young, and we got raised by, uh, for the want of a word, a settled person. I did want to know what the right word was to Well, that, to that's that. what they're classed as, okay. but to me, they're just, like, both sides, they're, they're just humans, like, you mm-hmm. know, but, uh, so I got, say, gifted, like, a home with, with certain yeah. people, and it was good, like, it, they've, they've been angels on my shoulder since I was a baby, and... I suppose from that I've got negativity so I've also like outside of the positive I've got negativity so i got like uh, travellers saying that you're not a part of the travelling community exactly, because yeah. you weren't raised there settled people saying that you're not a part of the settled community you're not allowed like, to touch the table well, William fuck <laughs> <you forget. laughs> okay, sorry about that you no, 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 go on um, yeah but basically um, I come from a travelling background and we just first time I live a day like you're not allowed to be a traveller in modern day society so you have to mask it up and then when you mask it up you can't be a non-traveller in a settled community if that makes sense you either have to be one or the other so I was like why who built the boundary who built the wall exactly. who said that we can't be these people so I went away and just made my own definition I'm a true buffer I got travel abroad and buffer iron and, and I'm pretty good with it like I, mean, I love that thank you and then you told me that the reason why you chose tra buffer was because a buffer is a settled person that's that's no, what like, traveling the, the actual term it's a chemical oh yeah yeah so yeah. a tra buffer is a, a a thing inside your body where it's like two chemicals inside in your body form but they're like two different separate chemicals so like it's just how am i going to say it it's like putting two doses of blood together and they actually work like yeah. so it's getting a a code and b code basically yeah yeah, so that's that's the way we Sorry, go. Sorry, I love that. You're Give me a little high five. High five. That's fab. Okay, so let's go back to that, right? Yeah. Like you were saying that you you were in the traveling community and then you were taken out of the traveling community. You went with a settled family and then how was your identity? What was your identity like oh, no. I, in that space? I know, obviously, looking back, you're like, I'm Ooh. a travel buffer. That's what I identify as. But yeah. like when you were going to school. 
uh, I, w- I was a, an entity, if, if that makes sense. Like I, w- right. I was just a being in the world because when I was young, my father passed away. And like my father passed away when I was 12, uh, my biological father, and uh, my biological mother passed away when I was 15. So yeah. I didn't really have uh, an emotional support in my family where it's like, oh, this is the way you walk in life, or this is what you talk yeah. about, or you talk in this certain accent. Mm-hmm. So when I got the backing of, say, my... my Settled parents, my man and pops, shout out, I love you. But uh, when when I got the support of them, they helped guide me and structure me to, to where I needed to be as a man and as a as a human being. But me internally, I was still lost until I was like, uh, till I was like 15, till my mother passed away. And then I was like looking at it and I was like, hold on a minute, like I'm not going through, like, uh, and I believe that a lot of people in life uh, have to decide this thing that we're not going through a lot of pain in life to end up with nothing so you have to then take your own future into your own hands if that makes sense yeah. and so then I started to want to rediscover my previous roots and I wanted to keep my old kind of foundation so I, I started going back in around the traveling community and I was re- well received by many many members of it like and, I, and I've got the cream and the crop is in the traveling yeah. community, but they're also in the settled people. Do you get yeah. where I'm coming from? And uh, and to me, it was just like I faced a little bit of stigma from some of them when I was right. coming back in because they have from a, the traveling community. From the traveling community because they have this term of being green. So That's green me. is like uh, I don't know. You're innocent. You're an innocent. Okay. You wouldn't know the ways of the, of okay. the, the average traveling man. Yeah. But. You don't have to know the ways. If it's yeah. in your blood, that's who you are, and of you course. can't deny what you are. Like yeah. you get me. So uh, basically, stemming from that, it, like it, it, it was good. It was good. We got to know each other. We got to like um, when I say we got to know each other. I mean my family and stuff. But uh, I kind of stayed independent. I knew I knew yeah. that years have passed, life has passed. These yeah. people have grown without us, and we've grown without them. Yeah. And so I started to refocus back on, for the want of a word, the settled the settled part of my life right. again. So. Both sides have stemmed uh, negativity, but both have given me the greatest times of my life. Do you get me? Yeah, and do you know, I think from listening, it sounds like you actually got the best of both worlds. I did, and I'm very grateful. And that's so amazing to actually... I Duality. Have Duality is better. Duality, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I find that's in my beautiful mind... beautiful life. Like politicians. God, don't get me started on them. But anyway, moral of the story is, if you grow up with a, with a linear path in your brain and what you want to think or what you assume people... Uh, live their life by you'll never fully understand someone so one of the biggest uh, discriminative things that still go on today is travelers it's the last yeah it is yeah unrecognized form of discrimination yeah. in ireland period and like there's a way of starting there's a way of sorting it all out traveling yeah. people need to stop being at traveling people and start what do you uni- mean? like so for example sake uh John and John Bloggs down the road has a problem with Sean Bloggs, who's his first cousin, and okay. like they need to put all that shit to bed. Like if they were, can I curse? Yeah, can of course. Yeah. So uh, they need to put all that shit to bed, and then yeah. after they put that to bed, they they unify. And once you you no, excuse me, once you unify, that's it. How that's did they where. put it to bed though? What like mediation? Like there's okay. like there is. There's, so is there a process like? There's uh, appointed organizations around are Ireland, and I won't say any okay. names because they're I'm not official and stuff any. like that. No, no, yeah. they are official, are you and they're getting government funding, and they're doing nothing are with you it. Serious? But we won't. Yeah, yeah. So like, there there is organization uh, organizations set up to uh, help the traveling community to aid them to aid them in education, the housing, homing. There is two hundred seventy one thousand empty houses in Ireland. Right. No, yeah. there's twenty one thousand homeless people in a whole capital that means like well, I'm, not, I'm not quick off the map but that means like we have nearly 30 to 3,000 maybe 30, like it, me alone have like nearly 3,000 houses I can pick in Ireland but yeah. you can't give one out or you can't like you can't give one to a travelling mm-hmm. person you get me yeah no, it's I like why you. like why but yeah. anyway back to the organisations yeah. I, I do I do steer away there is these places set up to like uh, mediate between families and make sure like things don't get too far okay so it's not like but what you see when when the videos go up and they're calling people out. What no, is that? I, I, I would say... What like, is that? Like that, that is the oldest form of what people would call a call-out. And a before, call-out. Yeah, and a call-out is to fight. Um, and you don't... like Regularly, and I've seen it in the travelling community, most people fight for their family's honour or your father's honour or you're fighting because... Your cousin, it's your cousin. So like you, like it's like me and you, right? I know you're wild. You're a pretty good friend of mine, right? Mm-hmm. So if I see a man well, coming up, me on and, uh, anyway. yeah, <laughs> I, I don't follow many people, but uh, I'm a leader, not a follower. 
But uh, yeah, so like the way it goes is like so if if someone came around this circle, it's obvious that like I'm gonna stand up and be like, nah, sorry, but you can't inflict pain here. And it's the same way it goes with the families. But the problem is they're broken down into such small minorities in the mm -hmm. families. So they're like a clan of six and a clan of ten and a clan of eight, and then they're calling each other. But it's social media. Yeah. So it's broadcasted around the internet. Course, like yeah. years ago, it used to be on a DVD. You would receive a DVD. Really? In the, yeah, you would receive a DVD in the post. Yeah. And then you play the DVD on your television with all your family members around home. And then you're like, oh, he called me. And I'm going to get him for that. But now it's like it's on the internet. So it's made too so it's, easy. Yeah, it's made for, mainstream yeah. and stuff. And if you look at anything, like, God forgive me for saying it, but uh, look at black culture or look at Asian culture or mm -hmm. look at multiple other cultures around yeah. the world. Like there is bad in all of them places, but you're very, yeah. and they're not as highly highlighted because yeah. people it's became the norm. Yeah, but I wouldn't use know? the word bad though. I will. I know, but no, but like, it's as you said, it is a culture, mm. and if this is something that was the way that it was mediated back in the day, then it's not necessarily bad. Okay, obviously inflicting pain isn't good, mm. but I suppose if that's if that's Excuse what the culture is, then. Would you call it bad? Like? My, my culture, my culture, and that's a traveling community. Um, is is not all about inflicting pain. Yeah. Like them would like the, if you talk to a traveling woman, yeah. like so traveling people, like the traveling community is a, is an abundance of talent first and foremost. Yeah. And I love all traveling women because they can tell you stories that would fascinate you about the roads, about the pecker done, about like. What's the pecker done? So he's a, an old poet and a singer and all that. Like he he used to be part of Are like you yeah yeah all of that stuff and like even traveling England or like how music basically travel the world is from like gypsies and and people moving from one place to another so what they would do is if i had a guitar and i was going to limerick for example yeah. sake and you had a fiddle i would teach you how to play the guitar you would teach me how to play the fiddle and, and i would take the fiddle with me and you keep the guitar and then i'd keep swapping them out yeah. and swapping them out but it's the same thing with the travelers like, so basically me? the travelers or gypsies are people that move around have yeah. brought different cultures together and created and yeah. different yeah, yeah. stories like yeah that's amazing and you know, it was actually, I was listening to, um, oh, I can't remember his name, but I was listening to this podcast a while ago, Jordan Peterson. Have you ever listened to him? No. I, it was my first That's time. That's not Wolf of Wall Street, no? No, no, no. Oh, I, I was just listening to him this morning and um, he was talking about stories mm. and he was saying about how podcasts bring stories together and how radio, print, whatever, everything brings stories together. But when you actually look back or when you look at a child and it instinctually pulls a storybook over for you to tell it it a story then mm. that's how like history is created and stuff like that so yeah, realistically that's, that's basically how we all learn how to talk yeah. and like it's the same way how do you know your heritage how do you read your heritage like you like for certain people we read it in a in a history book or yeah. you you will get taught it by your uncle or something it's the exact same way in the traveling community only where a more Exclu uh, exclusive kind of yeah. uh, form of getting along with yeah. each other like we don't like dealing with the exterior people because exterior people have like I don't know, okay, kicked us in the head to one too many times. So we Okay. So mm. exterior people, right? Yeah. Like that word exterior people. Mm hmm Like Which the means very outside of Yeah, us. but no, that's what I'm saying. It's a very strong separation between the travelling community and the settled community. Yeah. And what is that about? Like just tell me, what is uh, that about? Basic stigma, like like oh yeah. So let me let me just have a. Do you think up, so. do you think the traveling community or do you think the settled people are wrong or do you think it's a miscommunication on both? I yeah. Think, yeah, I think they're both wrong. I think they need, like like I have said this to certain organisations that I will bring members of both settled community yeah. and traveling community, mm -hmm. and I know I'm well high respect to people and people just like myself that walk the streets every day into a. Uh, an event and let's let's talk about it let's mm -hmm. nationally like debate what is going on what the fuck is the problem like yeah. what, what's, what what is the problem yeah so like we're all human we all bleed blood of course, yeah. like if uh, i've donated my organs right so when i die all my organs go out to another person now they're going to throw them back to me because i'm a traveler no they're not they're going to take exactly. them with their hands open That's so really what's, nice the yeah, so what's the difference yes what's the what's the fucking something. difference like, you get yeah it? no i do get you but like what do you think that it's going to take for the two sides and I, I actually even hate calling it the two sides because it shouldn't be two sides mm. but the the two I suppose the void between the, the void, void what's between that all gonna take? what do you think it's going to take like I, said, like I was saying mediation for definite I, like you need like 
When you have, when when do you ever see a politician? When it's time for canvassing. Look yeah. on the poll. Every poll outside right yeah. now, it's got fine girl, fine this, fine that. But it's not a fine life for a traveller. Do you get me? So yeah. like, why aren't they in the travelling communities? Like I know you might get told would to not, fuck would, off once no, or no, twice. No, 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 would, would they not come into the travelling? No, no, no. Why would they? No, no, no. They're all cowards. Cowards. No. Well, lads, what do you need? No, because because the demographic is that like travellers can't read or the assumption. Sorry, not the demographic is that travellers are well under educated and they don't pay any taxes and they're robbing the whole country blind and why the fuck would we want their votes let me tell you something yeah. okay the highest rate of, of suicides in 2017 in Ireland is from male travellers in the European Union and you can google uh, anyone that serious? calls me out about my facts yeah and it was like 61% for the women and them, them stats haven't deteriorated because we're like they're, they're suffocated like when, for example sick, if a travelling man tries to speak out about having mental problems or something yeah. even in the travelling community they're told I go away about your business I go away and cop on what you know about problems so we all have problems do you get yeah. me and like and so when they, when they can't find the source of relief then they find a different way of getting escaping this place do you get yeah. me I know you and, and I'm, I'm not saying like the, the underfunding or, or like his politicians false but I don't see any like helplines or I don't see yeah. anything like that that people can call even settled people like I I don't know, like, I recently lost someone very close to me to, to, to suicide and things, and, like, the way I look at it is, why, like, you got so much money inside in the country, you all got big fine bellies on you, like, why don't you, why don't you just take a little bit out of your mouth and put it onto a different plate and give it to someone that really needs it, you get me, like, yeah, get oh, God, sorry, I, I, no, guess, no, I, know, I guess passionate no, about this shit. No, but, like, like, you know what, it's, I think it's important for people to understand from especially your point of view because mm. you see the both sides like mm. there's there's part of you that is tra mm. and buffer yeah, yeah. and you're you're basically a mediator you're basically you. it's it sounds like you're a mediator yeah, going around well, the place being like God, yeah. fucking fix this fucking fix that but you I'm need only to one change voice. and you need to change i'm only one voice like yeah. I, like I and have... is there is there is there many people within the traveling community that would be of the same opinion or i know multiple. activism I know multiple, like multiple people in the, uh, and this stems from 16 years of age to all men that have said that. I, I often said to them, what do, what do you think of this outsider or what do you think of the place you're living in? And they're like, I oh, said, I'd love to leave it. And really? like, yeah, and how come you haven't left it? So where are we going to go? And then it's just, really? so yeah, it's like so for people that are called travellers that can move all around the place, mm. it, they can, they don't have nowhere to go, like, you know, like they don't have nowhere to call home. They, like, there's so many... So is there people that want to come away from, say, it's a halt inside? Is that that's yeah. what you'd call it? Yeah, or maybe put, like, little bungalows in it. Like, I I, I can't speak for every traveller when, when I say yeah. it, but I do know that many of them want to come out of trailers. Trailers are, are like, trailers, mobile homes, caravans, but I whatever thought you call that it. Was, I uh, thought that was the culture, like, do you know what I mean? It is on the road, but when you're settled... On the road, okay, I get Yeah, you. so when you're settled, like, when you're settled... Uh, let's see well, I'm a settled traveller so like I have no want for a caravan unless I'm going to be torn up and down England okay. or unless we're going to be going over to France you get me so I get you I like always thought that it was that the travelling community would like to stay in their no. caravans like, it, this I is another realize. thing no but this is good. and if this you go to Lahinch what you guys want like it, it, not us guys Look, not us guys see there's um, see there it is see there it is just that? in a blunder okay no what it's, was that it's the, you guys yeah. like it's a, it's well, a, you said it's an immediate yeah, yeah it's an immediate okay. kind of assumption um but like you, even if you go out to lahinge for example say okay. you go down there you rent out a mobile or course, something yeah so you're a part partaking in a part of the traveling yeah. culture when you're when you're basic and what the fuck really is a mobile home like? exactly it's like that's the well if that's a house that they can live in like because they're not getting any other houses either like you get me yeah. it's crazy man it's crazy no it is crazy but uh, do you know i think it's like with regards to you mm. and i suppose how dedicated to education that you are like and mm. to better yourself mm -hmm. and to understand the two sides that's because it hurts like it hurts for being yeah. someone like, like me like like obviously my mother and father died and both, both were travellers and uh, obviously they died at their own causes but uh, it's hard it's hard growing up and it's hard seeing, seeing your, your uncles and your aunts crying and it's hard like even seeing my settled 
family upset because of why? Because they they took they took in foster kids or the foster kids that are travellers. What bollocks is that, man? Like what 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 What's right? Like what right has anyone to ever put down another person yeah. for their kind of heart? You get yeah. me? And that's what that's Why, what I grew up in. Oh yeah, they, they Are were, you actually serious? Yeah, in the village, in the village I grew up in, and in in neighboring villages where where I grew up in, we had it hard enough. I won't say we had it. Really? We had a divorce, but we had it hard enough. And some of them people got what they got. But anyway, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like they they went hell for leather because yeah. they were clannish. Like like but even. But you know what? Fuck that, mm. William. Right, mm, mm. because like you said, you were settled. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, actually, took you in. Yeah, from so don't, a situation. so don't let me get misguided, boy. I got you. But uh, it's it just, it's just a basic thing of like, so, so. How am I gonna say it? The, the assumption is you can't take in little kids. They're little knackers. They're little pikeys. Or like, the the most offensive word I've ever heard in my life is an itinerant. You know what I mean, and and it's just like so. What are you then? So it does it just it, you claw in for a response. So if you call me a dirty necker, I'm gonna call you a dirty settled whatever, and then it's gonna be back and forth. And then no one seems to resolve this little course, issue that yeah. we have. Do you get me? And people used to call you that. Ah, necker, pikey, bastard, scumbag, everything. But like, water off a duck's back. Like you know what I mean. Nowadays, it's water off a duck's back. It only made a made a man harder because I see these people now, and they can't even keep eye contact. And I can come into a room really? and own a room because I've learned how to deal with all that bullshit you get me like they're falling away at their own means and I'm here as happy as Larry on a podcast drinking the best diet coke in the country <laughs> uh, yeah. so leave and be man leave and be and like with, with whatever's to come for the travelling community will come and if I can aid it I'll aid it I know like the sort of members of my family that wants to do it I know John Connors is a, is a advocate for like for travellers and for mental health Tyson Fury a traveller uh, an advocate traveller for mental health and travellers like look at all like the world's greatest heavyweight yeah. champion Limerick's best rapper John yeah. Connor is one of the most famous people in Ireland can and we we're talk, all advocating can we talk about your recent success because slightly I'm, slightly you slightly. can talk about it that much slightly <laughs> yeah. right so delighted by yes. the way because you know yes. what you fucking deserve it. Got it. You fucking deserve it. it. And you know, I always, I always knew, like I always knew from the weird air of confidence that you had and mm. kind of, I don't know. It's a bit I like yourself. Knew. We're thirsty, blood thirsty, and we're not going to stop until we get a big mouthful. Yeah. You know, and I'm still not stopping now. Yeah. But to relieve people that don't know, I wrote a script for Virgin Media. Well, no, you wrote for, a script. I wrote a script, sorry. It wasn't, it wasn't for, them, for them specifically. It wasn't, it was for well, you. It was Go for on. me. I wrote a script. And the, the premise of the script is a uh, basic... Uh, I'm not going to tell you, but there's a lot to come in it. There's, there's discrimination. There's uh, mental health issues. There is happiness. There is success. There is everything that you want in a film. And it's coming. And the film will be titled Innocent Boy. And it's a look inside of the traveling community and both settled communities so it's going to be a great variation oh, I can't and you can see it from my eyes to get me like you can really? see what yeah because it's a slight biopic and then it's obviously dramatized for you yourselves and so you then you had wrote this for yourself I wrote this yeah for myself and then john connors wasn't it yeah so the basic way it was uh i had I had wrote this script and I didn't know what to do with it. I had a couple of ideas and places I wanted to put it in and I didn't know if it really held value because yeah. we doubt ourselves. Like you it don't is. you don't actually think that you're as good as people may think you are. So I was like, uh, it's going places. And then I had sent it to John initially and John had um, said like, this is great, this is fucking powerful, but w I don't know what to do with it. Yeah. So I was like, okay, we got a great powerful script, but we don't know what to do with it. Great. And then we seen an ad and it was like, Virgin Media, short script, film competition. and. I know that he entered it into it and I was kind of left a little bit lurchy at the time and then it was kind of like, uh, I just want to, because we had, we had time had passed, like, you know, and then yeah. it was like, I want to ring you back, uh, Innocent Boy, top five. And I was like, really? Top five for the Virgin Media. For the Virgin Media, right? So it was gradually going down and then it was like, uh, a couple of days, about a week later, it was like, oh, I want to ring you and just tell you that it's in the top three. Oh, fingers crossed, keep praying. And so I, I, I'm a bit of advocate in faith, like, so I was praying, 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 praying. Where are you? And then one morning he rang me and he was like, we won, we won. <laughs> oh and I was my like, God. fuck off, man. And he was like, yeah, and I, I'm... 
I'm, I'm a good man, but like I broke down crying because I was like, yeah. finally, yes, thank God, a yeah. little bit, a little bit of something of back, course. a little bit of something back. So I ran out to my mum and my pops, gave them big hugs, big them big kisses, you know, because they're like, without them, what am I like? Do you get me? So now we're we're, we're off to red carpet event <laughs> next. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take them down the red carpet with me. Two of them is my my special guest, so I'm gonna take them red carpet Dublin International Film Festival, get them the the preview, and then it comes out on Virgin Media Television. And Sorry, it comes out on the television. Yeah, it comes out on the television and it comes out on Virgin Media Player after that for the whole world to see. So there you go, man. That's that's what, like. that's what hunger does. Isn't that fucking amazing? Yeah. yeah. And it, are you are you so fucking proud of yourself? I'm so proud of the team that worked on the film. And I obviously I have pride in myself, but I'm so thankful and grateful that for the people that helped out on the film, and especially to John Connors and like Tiernan and Williams, and like there's so many involved. But like, they're, it's great having a vision. But when other people invest their time and their patience yeah. and then their their efforts into it, and small Johnny Collins, man, wait, you see this fella? <laughs> but uh, like all of these people are yeah. so powerful and they're so lovely. But they all invested, like I was saying, they invested their time into into the film as much as I did if not more and, and, yeah. and got it across the line and taught the things that mm-hmm. I, I don't have the knowledge for like do you get me yeah. so without in a wholesome view of it yeah 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 I'm proud I'm, but I'm proud of every one of them and I'm thankful to every one of them as well like. well done you get me thank that's you amazing. thank you high five high five okay I think that's enough I think yeah. that's just fucking have brilliant we done it? have we done it I haven't even spoke about my rapping like, but it's grand I don't even rap <laughs> Grand. <laughs> We're just gonna wrap this. That's it. <laughs> Please, thanks. I've been Wilsy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come find me. Come find yeah. me on all my social media. It's Wilsy. Big up the whole Limerick rap scene. Big up. Welcome to the new world. My label. My family. I love you all. Big up to Sophie, the man behind the camera, obviously. And come check us all out in 2020. We're, we're a successful group, boys. Hmm. Bye bye. <laughs> and that's it. I'm happy, man. I'm, I'm fucking. I think that's good.